Hello beautiful Scorpio and welcome to your general tarot guidance for the next four weeks with me Julie Poole. Hello, welcome, thank you for being here, thank you for coming back if uh, you're a, a regular and if you're new, welcome, welcome. I have missed you guys, I did a very brief reading for May because I was unwell um, and I'm still recovering from a heavy chest cold, so bear with me. But I am so glad to be back to work. I have so missed doing these readings for you. It just didn't feel the same. Anyway, I've got some new decks as well. Let me bring this down so that you can have a look. See, I have got the Angel Answer cards. I've got a new, um, what is it called? Wisdom of the Tarot, Wisdom of the Oracle, um, which I used for a long time. And then... I let my daughter have it and I missed it. So I've gone and got myself another deck again. So um, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I am open for bookings and there is a sale on at the moment, limited time only, on the one hour reading and healing session. So if you want to grab that, you can do so. So this is good for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross-watching. It's a general read for the next four weeks all right so whenever you find this it's four weeks from when you find it it's a kind of um almost like a timeless reading but not quite kind of thing does that make sense probably not all right let's start with the angel messages so these are the angel answer cards all the cards that i use are linked in the description box below they're listed on my website but the link takes you there so that you can check them out if you like them all right scorpio what's going on for you my lovely people oh you've got look for a sign okay that means there is something they want to tell you about look for a sign tell me what else we have and we have perfect timing interesting and from this deck please choose a new direction do you know some those same combination came up for somebody else so scorpio we are in this changing time i'm recording this on the 22nd of may and we've just come out of mercury retrograde yes i'm so pleased about that as a virgo i can't tell you um and um we've had the new moon in taurus a couple of days ago so we're in a lovely kind of new direction where are we going and they're saying to you scorpio choose a new direction we'll find out more in terms of what area they want you to choose a new direction but they're saying this is the right time to do it whether that is jobs or relationships or home or behaviors whatever it is let's find out some more tell me what you have for my beautiful scorpios please i want two of these well that's really interesting isn't it well because you have got message in a bottle and you have look for a sign so clearly there is signs around here that they want you to pay attention to they're gonna be giving you those signs so we've got to keep those ears and eyes open Scorpio and you have blessed let me bring it up so you can see it a bit clearer I do love this deck I've missed it dreadfully um, so whatever this shift and change is for you on a choosing a new direction this is a blessing this is really good all right let's go to the oracle and um, let's go to the tarot even oh dear me all righty come on then what do we have for my scorpios i'm a scorpio rising so i'm always interested to see what this is about all right come on then let's go okay so we have palace of coins temperance four of swords and the queen of cups okay interesting so this new direction is about bringing you into better balance and harmony okay and they're going to be giving you signs and some of those signs may be to show you how burnt out you are right that we need that balance we need that moderation you know if it's all work and no play we get burnt out if it's all play and no work we get skint so where is that balance you're going to start noticing if you're particularly tired the four of swords is rest I need sleep, I need to step back, I need to, yes, yeah, step back because when we're too close and too busy, we can't see the wood for the trees. 
Um, as we say in the UK, I think in America, you say forest. That's okay. All right. But we get too close. We get too involved. And then we just feel stuck on that hamster wheel, on that merry-go-round. And we can't see a way off. But if we step back and retreat and get some sleep, then we come back to it with a fresh eyes, fresh perspective. And we can kind of go, uh-huh that needs to go or that particular thing is draining me and I can really see it now and I'm going to make those changes, okay? So the Palace of Coins, to my knowledge, and I am not the font of all knowledge, but I know a fair bit, I've never seen the palaces in any other tarot deck except for this one, Tarot of Dreams. The palace is where the king and queen of that suit live. And it's an environment, it's a physical, tangible place where you can ground into that energy. And it's the Palace of Coins. So Scorpio, this is somewhere where you can feel very grounded, safe and secure and also very prosperous. Happy days, we like that, okay. And it's a blessing. Now for some of you, this could be a new home or a place of work, but generally it's just that balance of where it's a beautiful home and I have this balance around me because this is heart-centered energy, all the greenery. It's like, this is a place where I feel in balance with nature, in balance with myself. Everything here about this, choose a new direction and look for the signs. And we've got double message of signs here and that perfect timing to say, this is the time to bring everything into balance. Now, in what areas of your life that's going to be, is going to be different things for different people. It could be at work, it could be in your relationships, it could be in your health, but we are really wanting to come into this balance and there is a blessing here. Now, the blessed card is saying to make these shifts, to choose that new direction, sometimes we are choosing it and other times the universe is kind of saying, yeah, you haven't done a lot about this, so we're going to force it, we're going to push it and that could be that a relationship suddenly collapses or a job suddenly ends um it doesn't have to be like that but sometimes you know the universe will give us a little bit of a push to say yeah you need to go in a different direction now but whatever the shift is it is absolutely a blessing Okay, so we're coming into balance. We're taking a step back so that we can rest, recharge and look at it from a fresh perspective and from a place of compassion with that Queen of Cups. Compassionate for yourself, saying like, am I exhausted? What can I do to make changes? In what direction? In what area? So let's find out a little bit more. And the two tarot decks I'm using are also Marchetti, and it's the Legacy and the Tarot Royale. All right, lovely. So you've got the Ace of Swords coming out there, new thinking, new clarity, new aha moments, those signs coming through, that blessing. Um, you could literally wake up one morning and just go, do you know what? I've just got this idea. I've got this feeling I need to follow. It feels instinctive. It feels right. And I'm going to follow it. Fabulous. Okay. Four of Swords again. Double message. Scorpio, are you exhausted? We need to talk. We need to chat. Because you're going to make these changes. Three of Cups. And you're going to come out on top. All right. But you don't have all the answers at, at the moment. I want one more. Thank you. But it's going to go forward. All right. Now. Scorpio. Whew. When I did the earth signs, I did Virgo first because myself as a Virgo and every Virgo I've spoken to has been going through purging, cleansing, clearing, illness, exhaustion, all sorts, and they needed a bit of support. So I did them first. But it seems to be with you a little bit of a similar energy with this four of swords twice saying, right, my lovely people, are you burnt out? It's time for you to rebalance. Get into nature, yeah? Just take a step back. Take a day off if you can. Um, or, you know, if you can't take a day off, when you finish work, instead of going home and flopping in the chair, try and find some nature, all right? Trees, water, especially water for you as a water sign. Get into rebalance, okay? We need to take a step back. As you do that, 
you can see what that new direction is. It might be as simple as saying, you know, I'm just going to stop offering to do all the extra or I'm just going to not do that, that, that anymore. The outcome is the Three of Cups, which is a celebration card. It's also a card which will bring the balance of spending some time with friends. Okay, so the Three of Cups is let's go and have a little bit of a mm, time with my friends. Now that could be dancing and drinking and listening to music or just sitting down at home, putting the world to rights, but it gives you that balance back, okay? That connection with your friends is important, all right? Now, many of you with this balance needing to come in and rest, are not sure how you can make that happen. The Two of Swords is the I don't know card, okay? Um, she's always blindfolded. And we have the moon there in the card, which is saying there's things here that are hidden that I I can't see right now. But that's why they're giving you all of this look for the signs, because they're trying to show you, they're trying, and I say they, we're talking about your spiritual team, your inner being, your higher self, the universe, God is trying to give you signs. So you don't have all the information at the moment, but just be open to the signs and they will start to come through because it's next to the king of swords now we like him we like the king of swords he's not particularly emotional but he is very the expert the ideas the advisor the mentor somebody who can say well have you thought about this and what about that and you kind of go ah right yeah no i hadn't thought about that so <coughs> sorry about that scorpio i had to have a little cough there as I work my way through this cold and out the other side. And I didn't want to blast your ears off. So I put you on pause for a minute. Okay. So the King of Swords is somebody around you that is going to give you some good advice or suggestions. And that is going to help you to move forward because you've got the chariot that's the victory card so i'm going to find my way through this how do i get more rest more balance how do i be compassionate with myself what is this new direction that i can go in and i can't see that new direction until i listen for those signs and i allow myself to step back and get a bit of balancing with a bit of fun okay when was the last time you laughed really laughed barely laughed stuff okay it's incredibly good medicine laughter and so you know i was there they just reminded me yesterday i was watching um a youtube video from one of my favorite comedians sarah milliken i laughed for about an hour i just sat there watching this giggling away a couple of really big belly laughs um and it lifts the energy and then you feel much more uplifted and vibrant and then you're more open to see these signs coming through so let's find a bit more about this choose a new direction let's find out some more please for my beautiful scorpios obviously it's going to mean different things to different people because it's a general reading not a personal reading for some of you it'll be a new job for others it could be a new love let's have a little look see but it's a blessing whatever it is and they're very keen for you to crack on with this because we've got perfect time in there, okay? All right, so I'm asking about choosing a new direction. What is it about? So we've got the devil, all right? So we want to come away from any area of our life where we feel restricted. The devil talks about mm, things like overspending, overindulging, um, feeling trapped in behaviors and patterns and habits and feeling no i couldn't possibly not drink five nights a week i couldn't possibly stop smoking i couldn't possibly leave my toxic partner who's incredibly controlling and it's saying do you know what yes you can yes you absolutely can take a step back and rebalance and you'll see the way forward so um what area of your life are you feeling a little stuck in? They're just saying to me, some of you may have been trying to sell your home or move to a new rental and you just can't find anything and you felt stuck. So we've got to come away from it, reset and come back to it fresh. Tell me more about this new direction for Scorpio, please. Oh, see, that's perfect. That's just perfect that you have here the star. 
the star comes after the tower, the devil, the, the tower and the star. We're saying, right, whatever was holding you back, keeping you stuck, making you feel trapped, it's healing, it's shifting. Now that's over perfect timing. So this is the perfect time over the next four weeks, Scorpio, where you are releasing that which is holding you back. I'm trying to recall what Raph was saying from Radiant Reality about Venus is shifting and it's really helpful to be able to get rid of um, anything that is not serving you because Venus is all about self-love and self-value. And when you really value you and yourself it's much easier I wouldn't say it's easy but it's easier to pull away from those restrictions so we have the healing energy here so that you can then move in this new direction what is this new direction for my Scorpios please the Emperor now this is lovely the opposite to the devil is going to be the Emperor because the devil is I'm trapped, I'm stuck, I'm powerless, I can't do a thing about it, there's nothing I can do, and then we heal and we step into its opposite energy of I am powerful, this is my destiny, this is my life, I can do anything I damn well please, nothing can stop me, I'm the emperor. It's hugely powerful, we like this a lot. Now, I want an animal oracle card for you, tell me more for my Scorpios please, what else do you want? Oh. My favourite card popping out for you. Just wonderful. Okay. Spider Spirit and Turkey Spirit. Spider Spirit is my favourite card in the animal deck because, as it says here, make your dreams real. Right? It's 56. That's a number 11. That's mastery. So you have your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, and you absolutely can make them real. The spider is represented with this energy because the spider can just move her web wherever she wants to move i don't like it there i'm going to move it there there's nothing stopping me if it breaks i'll just make a new one no problem so we have this ability here scorpio to make your dreams real okay now with the turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace this is about shedding stuff and saying what don't i need what what <sighs> What don't I value or use? It's a kind of clearing out energy, but in a very gentle and loving way. All right. Now, what it means is we are saying that if I have, for example, with that devil card, got a home that's very cluttered and it's gone on top of me and it's get me down a bit, I'm going to have a good clear out and I'm going to give that stuff to charity or I'm going to give it away for not very much money because I don't want it. I don't love it. I don't need it. I want to get rid of it, which purges it for me, but it also benefits whoever that has gone to. So we are in this energy of letting go now, when we give with gratitude and grace, we give up this whatever it is that you're giving up, all right, then you're looking at it and saying, this is benefiting me so much and I am so grateful that this is happening. This gratitude, attitude of gratitude is just beautiful and it is a blessing and it enables those dreams to come into reality even quicker and even more. All right. Anything else you want to say? Yes, they have not finished yet. Okay. Which deck? We want to go back to this one. Okay. So they want another three cards. Chatty with you today. Look, we've got the devil coming out again. So we've got this double message, Scorpio. We've got to let this go. Whatever it is. The devil rooted down by the devil. And the seven of coins. So they are stressing this um, message. Look at your life, my beautiful people, and say, in what area am I stuck? What needs to go? What am I overcoming? And stepping into my emperor energy, using my queen of wands, because she's so assertive, and she's like, get out of the way. I'm coming. I am sorting it. Nothing's going to stop me, okay? The seven of coins here is about I'm building something for the future. It might take me a little bit of time, but I will get my harvest. I absolutely will. So we are focused on getting rid of restrictions and Scorpio as the transformation sign you are the best placed to do this 
you can absolutely smash it out of the park. So we are in the power to get rid of anyone or anything that is making you feel trapped and stuck. It's the perfect timing to do this. This is a blessing. So look for the signs. They're going to be there to help you absorb those signs and know because the outcome here is the chariot that you will be victorious with this i want to finish off with an angel message this is the oracle of the angels final message for my scorpios please thank you so much and we have awareness. That's it. See, awareness is key. You can't change and transform what you don't know. If you're not aware of it, then you can't shift it. But once that awareness comes in, that aha moment, right? And that's what those signs are going to be about. Look for the messages. Look for the signs. Okay. If your partner, for example, comes home one day and is right controlling and stroppy it just suddenly smacks you right in the face and go Joe, why, why am I putting up with this this has got to be shifted whatever it is this awareness is going to come up for you and the universe is bringing you those signs to say something in your life with that devil there twice it is time for it to go it's the perfect timing it's a blessing and you are coming into your mastery and your victory to move through this and out the other side into freedom lovely all right my beautiful scorpios that's what i have for you i hope it helped if it did give it a like a share and if you haven't already do consider subscribing it really does help my channel to grow and if you want to book in the link is below um and i will see you in a couple of weeks for your money and career reading okay have an amazing month sending you much love Bye bye